Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. This is going to be a really special video from my friend in Norway. Dennis, if you're watching this, thank you so much for sharing this uh, these video clips with uh, myself and my subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Um, you guys are about to see his amazing Mercedes W140. Uh, so Dennis has been having some issues with his ignition lock key. Uh, he told me, you know, he contacted me a couple of months ago saying that it's stuck. Uh, so we're going to talk about all those issues in this video and hope you, uh, I hope you guys can learn a lot from this video as well. So stay tuned. My name is Dennis and I'm a W140 owner from Norway. As you uh, probably seen uh, uh, with the walk, walk around the car, this is an imported car from Dallas, Texas, USA. So this is really good for us underneath. That's the most important part for me in terms of motivation. Uh, this is going to be a project over the years, but I'm still going to mostly use it every day. I daily drive this car and this is the first car that I've owned that I still feel enjoyment every time I drive it. The attention you get, the sound of the engine, the engineering of the car itself, nothing can match it almost. And uh, I have to say big shout out to Vito for motivating me uh, handling my process through changing the the key ignition system it was a really tedious work and you have to have the right tools for it but uh, he walked me around how I were or for where to look and for what to do and things like that so uh, i i really want to give him a big shout out for that he really motivated motivated me to go out there and do it he also provided me with the part from california that i ordered uh, so for other viewers that uh, watch this video he his knowledge is top of the line don't hesitate to contact him or share information with him or questions like that he's a really really good guy and for for uh, for other things keep your benzes alive the cars that have been made today it's it's not the same quality anymore thank you so if you guys ever need help with fixing your car, your classic Mercedes or BMW or any other car, don't hesitate to contact me. I'll leave the links down below of uh, 
my contact information as well as Dennis's contact information. Dennis uh, knows a lot about W140s as well. And me, uh, myself and him together were uh, diagnosing and uh, you know trying to solve the problem with his ignition lock cylinder. So you guys are about to see, please don't judge the video quality because it may not be the best. But um, like I said, I really appreciate Dennis, you know, sharing all those video clips with us guys. So this is just a tip if you ever encounter this problem. This is how it should look like. And it was a lot of problems getting this old one that's stuck inside here. So what I did, I used a, uh, a saw lookalike tool with this, with this blade and tried to cut it from underneath and up. So if you wonder where to cut, you see it like that. If you were to cut this one, follow this general line. It's a pretty okay to get access to it from underneath. And what we did is when we came halfway with the cutting, we just pried it open with the flathead screwdriver and a hammer until it just broke clean off on the top. But when you cut this, this part will still remain inside the steering lock. This one is the tricky part. We tried to drill it, but everything just broke every time. <clears throat> so how I managed to get this one up is that it requires no drilling at all from underneath. Just leave it, don't drill it. When this is inside the steering rack, you see this... <sighs> Sorry for the lightning. These ones... Those... If you pull it... It's easier when it's on the car, but if you pull it... These are what engages inside this uh, locking area. So when you cut it off, the rest of the piece, you can slightly move them back. So they're like, like this or something. And then you can just find uh, something sharp or whatever, flat a screwdriver, knock it underneath. You might jiggle with it a couple of times, but you will eventually get it. Hope this was helpful. So if you were supposed to drill this one, you had to drill it on the right side. So it gets uh, the locking mechanism gets destroyed. That's what they mean about jiggling out. And the key that's in it won't go out. And that's because the cable wire cannot sense or feel any resistance from the gear, now from the transmission. That's why you can't get this out. So, with other words, you need to have the cable connected to eject the key. Once I connect the cable here again, this will pop out.
Anyway, so let's get back to this W140 ignition lock uh, system and assembly uh, issues. So W140, which is made uh, uh, from, which was made from 1991 until 1999, it's an amazing machine, amazing S class. I love those cars so much. But sometimes they start having problems with ignition locks and uh, tumblers, keys, cylinders, whatever. In this case, Dennis had an issue with uh, not the key but an actual assembly, the whole steering lock assembly that got stuck. So, um, as you saw in the video, he was actually taken apart and he had to cut it, you know, just he had to use a sawzall and he had to cut that ignition lock uh, assembly because it was just completely stuck, frozen. But, you know, like I said, guys, don't give up on your classic cars, help each other out, love these amazing machines. They don't make them like they used to, all right? Dennis is super happy right now. Everything is fixed up. Everything is amazing with that car. He is enjoying it every single day. Dennis, shout out to you. Thank you so much for the amazing videos that you shared with uh, me and my subscribers. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching my channel and uh, loving classic cars. Don't forget to save them. I will see you next one. Bye bye. Now the steering wheel is activated. And after I switch the ignition lock, everything works like it should. Anyways, guys, if you're having any issues with your W140 uh, steering lock or uh, you can't turn the key and the ignition, nothing at all. Uh, so you can try a couple things. You can try to wiggle the key a little bit back and forth. You know, you can try to move the steering wheel to the neutral position, then try to turn and maybe it's going to turn. And then if, uh, if you tried, let's say you try uh, to spray some WD-40 inside that lock or the tumbler and nothing works, you still can't turn the key, uh, you're gonna have to drop the uh, panel and you're gonna have to inspect it, you're gonna probably have to try to tap uh, with some tool on that, uh, you know, uh, ignition lock assembly, maybe something's gonna happen, maybe the key will turn one last time. If it turns, then it's awesome, if it doesn't turn, you're gonna probably have to do the, the same thing that Dennis did in this video. Um, also, if you're just trying to replace the tumbler because you think that it's worn out and you can still turn the key, uh, I mean, you're gonna still have to drop the uh, panel, uh, the kick panel, because there's no other way of removing that because there's like that black shell, the black metal barrel that's, uh, you know, surrounding the uh, actual uh, tumbler. So you're gonna have to drop the kick panel no matter what. If you're doing any work on the W140 ignition lock system, um, or the cylinder, uh, you're gonna have to drop the kick panel and go from there. Uh, in some cases, you might have to remove the cluster uh, just to get better access to everything from where the cluster is sitting. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, contact me or Dennis. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Don't forget to save your classic cars and I'll see you in the next one.